Hi, this is Tumka Travels, and today we are in Berlin. The capital of Germany, Berlin, is a modern metropolis with a turbulent history that has left it in an unusual blend of East and West, grandeur and utility. Question one. In what year did Germany unify as a country? Uh, okay, so I think it follows the Franco-Prussian War, which was, so I'm going to say, 1871. Oh, is the correct answer exactly? Well done. The city has plenty of key landmarks for you to take in as a tourist, like the Brandenburg Gate. What a lovely gate! The Charlottenburg Palace. Alexander Platz and the TV Tower. Oh my god, I just love this building. It's so unique. I've never seen anything quite like it. Oh my god, I just love this building. It's so unique. I've never seen anything quite like it. The Victory Column. Bellevue Palace. And the Berliner Dome, the city's cathedral, that was completed in 1905, only to suffer heavy bomb damage in World War II. The repaired cathedral is quite the spectacle inside, with ostentatious gilt interiors that really hasn't held back on the gold leaf. If in doubt, painted gold. I think that's a good rule of thumb for interior design. What a lovely cathedral. Yes, it certainly is. and be sure to climb up the dome for great views of the city. When you go to the Berliner Dome, you can get all the way to the top. And from there you can actually see the whole city, you can see the uh, TV tower, you can see the Reichstag, um, and plenty more, but I'm not sure how to pronounce them. Question two, what is Checkpoint Charlie? Well, that's where, that's the American crossing for when it was the Berlin Wall, so, yeah. Okay. Part of the city's commerce legacy is Checkpoint Charlie, the border crossing that bridged East and West Berlin back when the city was divided in two by the Berlin Wall. Although the city has been reunited since 1989, there are still plenty of remnants all over the city from the decades when East and West were separated. Checkpoint Charlie retains its iconic status as the only spot in the city where Allied forces could cross into the Eastern Bloc, and the original buildings and signage have been maintained as a tourist attraction. Even though there is a McDonald's now directly behind the, on the Eastern side and further along the old border is the East Side Gallery. A preserved section of the Berlin Wall that has been decorated by world-famous artists, it's a long stretch of continuous wall that serves as a showcase for outstanding urban art and a stark reminder of the city's difficult history. It's amazing to think that this wall divided two entire worlds that people could be just mere meters from each other and be living under completely different systems um, and that this was a city completely divided. Question three. Who is the current German Chancellor? Angela Merkel. Well done. What party does she represent? CDU. What does that stand for? The Christian Democratic. The Christian Democratic Union of Germany. Correct. And who is she in coalition with? The FDP, the Social Democratic The Christian Social Union of Bavaria is the correct answer. Yeah, that's the same. Mm -hmm, sure. Probably the city's most impressive building is the Reichstag. Restored and rebuilt in the 1990s to provide a Berlin home for the German parliament in their newly reunited country, the fabric of the old building has been restored with great reverence for its history, but with modernity strongly in mind. My 
Do you think Angela Merkel is home? Probably. Should we go and find out? Let's go. Let's do it. Inside is a vast quantity of preserved graffiti left by occupying Soviet forces following World War II, but the highlight is definitely its vast glass dome. Constructed to replace the wooden dome that was destroyed during World War II, you can climb the spiral ramps all the way to the open top of the dome for a view across the entire city. And you'll never bump into people coming down because the walkways function in a double helix pattern, one going up, the other coming down. Best view of the city? Absolutely. Question four. What were the four countries that occupied Berlin after World War II? France, the UK, the US and the Soviet, the Soviet Union. Is the correct answer? While West Berlin bears all of the hallmarks of a Western European capital, East Berlin is quite different. With concrete prefab buildings dating from the communist era, this area looks strikingly different. But a product of this legacy is the inhabitation by communities of students and artists who have transformed whole districts into a bohemian paradise, with independent bars and restaurants at the middle of what look like hippie communes. Ramshackle temporary structures built along the banks of the river. This is the perfect spot to sit back, have a drink and enjoy the more organic side of this city. All party after nightfall. Hard. Obviously whilst you're in Berlin you have to eat some curry first. Jeremy, can you please tell us how it is? This is a spicy curry verse as well, so let's see. Mm. Question five. Who was the final monarch of Germany? Mm. Is he not like the uh, Osenberg something dynasty or whatever? I don't know what dynasty he was. Is it Bismarck? No. Kaiser Wilhelm II. Never heard of him. And they made him abdicate after World War II. In 1918. Correct. Well, that bit was correct. <laughs> the main part of the question wasn't correct. But no. There are many landmarks in the city that commemorate events during World War II. The most striking of these is the Holocaust Memorial, which cover 19,000 square metres of land with 2,711 concrete columns ranging between 20 centimetres and 4.7 metres in height, arranged in a perfect grid pattern. Describe the Holocaust Memorial in three words, please. Concrete, solemn and powerful. Finished in 2005 to commemorate the 6 year anniversary of the end of the war, the vast sculpture aims to represent a seemingly ordered system, but has also lost touch with human reason. Designed to be deliberately confusing, you can easily get yourself lost in the concrete maze, and it can be very disorientating at times. Essentially this is just big concrete columns sticking high into the sky, but um, there's something quite moving about it, and bleak and industrial and... Sad. Our tip is to stay together and don't go in after dark, as the sculpture is completely unlit and it can be quite spooky in the middle. Berlin is an amazing city with lots to see and do. A sprawling metropolis whose history is written all over its streets. This is a lively, modern and global city that is definitely worth exploring. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Through My Quirky Eyes. And make sure you tune in for next time where we will be in Warsaw. We are off to Poland. Until next time, folks. See ya.